my name is Eric Pearson. I've got Aircraft Valuation Services, provide claims adjusting as well as uh, valuation consulting for appraisals, uh, aircraft and marine. So I'd say probably the uh, things that set me apart from, from some of the others. I've got an engineering background. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, extensive background in manufacturing, manufacturing methods. Uh, I've got experience on uh, maintenance of aircraft and, and boats, vessels as need be, uh, as well as working uh, a lot of commercial uh, personal property claims, contents claims uh, for large commercial losses. So it's kind of a, a twofold deal is in that we have multiple areas within the insurance industry that I work with. What I'm looking for, I'm going to say typically are going to be uh, insurance companies and or bankers that need somebody to put a fair market value or a fair value on any type of personal property. I would say we specialize in, in aviation, marine, and then uh, commercial contents. First learned about the OFA uh, through my sponsor in this organization, uh, Skip Higley and George Nardoni. Uh, I have met them through another organization that was for aircraft appraisals and once you're capable of appraising an aircraft, then adjusting is not very far from that. So they, they brought me into the OFA. It's just an incredibly nice group of guys with a huge wealth of knowledge. Um, it's nice that we've got two meetings a year that everybody gets to see each other, uh, maintain relationships, and uh, they're fun. jump in. Somebody's wanting to uh, get with a current member and they'll be able to uh, explain the, the process for getting into the organization, filling out a uh, application and sponsor you into the, to the event. But uh, right now it's, it's open membership and uh, everybody's always looking for more expertise and more knowledge surrounding uh, claims and adjusting. It, it is the the nice part about the business uh, within this type of industry is that everybody really works together. Um, we may have claims or cases in different parts of the country that may not be feasible for us to get to it or how it would be, but there's going to be another member that does live close, and so oftentimes uh, it's a lot easier to collaborate that way. You know, if if it just doesn't justify the travel or the timing. Uh, with an organization like this, then you, you've always got a phone book that you can open up and know that you've got a competent person nearby. <laughs>